Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, Amateur Radio Call Sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. The people who make this, Alpha ESS, it's another one of those battery boxes that provides all kinds of power, this one even bigger than the last. I've reviewed quite a few of these from different manufacturers, and they're all useful, they're all slightly different in features, and I want to do the usual tests on this today. First of all, let's take it out of the box. It's very thoroughly packed in here in this form-fitting box. This box is not good for transport. You need to transport the actual unit. We have this is a cigarette lighter plug you can plug into your vehicle and use this to charge the pack. Uh, here's a little USB-C to USB-C that you can use. And here is the power cord that goes with the wall plug charger. There's also a little user's manual and a little warranty token right here. Then the unit itself comes out. And let's take a look quickly at some of the features. You've got an input on the front, various places you can charge your phones and stuff like that. And it does have that USB-C capability right here uh, to where it can go up to quite a bit of power coming through at once. There are three regular 110 volt 60 cycle plugs. And then here's a typical cigarette lighter type of uh, power takeoff. And we have also over here some regular barrel connector types of takeoff. If you turn it on, it shows you the amount charged, the power in, and the power out. Right now it's 34% charged, having been in shipping for a while. There is also two places on top here where you can put the kinds of phones that you can charge wirelessly. We'll go right there. On the back is a hefty lamp that you can use at your site, whatever it may be. There's one, two, three power levels. So there's quite a bit in this thing. Now let me tell you what checks we're going to run on this. I have an 800 watt heater I'm going to put on this for a large load. It's supposed to put up to a kilowatt. Uh, I also have a commercial uh, screw shooter for putting up drywall that happens to be the plug-in type. It's a very inductive load and uh, it's got to be a good power inverter to actually run that. And I also have the oscilloscope. We're going to look at the quality of the waveform and lastly we're going to listen on 40 meters while I turn this on in its various modes, including with the inductive load, and see if it creates, creates any noticeable uh, RFI. So let's get to testing. <laughs> 